Today I'm going to show you how to set up your Dynojet OBD2 Datalink module to this Dodge truck. Basically you have an OBD2 plug here that's going to connect to the connector inside of the truck. We're going to go ahead and plug that right into its OBD2 port. And as you can see we're going to start to get status lights on our Dynojet Datalink module. From here we're going to go ahead and connect our crossover cable to the back of the OBD2 port where it says Ethernet. I'm going to go ahead and just set this in a safe location. It's not going to get damaged. Make sure that the key is in the on position on the truck or started. From here, we're going to go into our WinPEP 7 software. We're going to go into our Make Run configuration, expansion systems. Down here at the bottom, Dynojet DLM OBD2 module. We will check that and go to configure. From here, it's going to initiate the configuration to the module. It could take a few seconds. From here you see that our DLM OBD2 module is connected and the PCM from the truck is now connected. From this point we'll go to channels and we're going to basically bring up truck is going to allow us to see. From here we're going to select one of the one of the PIDs, hit control A to select all of them and verify. To a minute what it's going to be doing is going through and telling us which ones are supported and unsupported. From here, we're going to now check supported. This is going to allow us to see all the supported PIDs. It's basically a filter. We'll hit apply. And now these are all the supported PIDs that we are able to monitor from this truck. A few ones that we might want to see is going to be intake air temperature. We'll hit enable. As you can see, it turns disabled into enabled. We can do manifold absolute pressure. We can look at RPM. We'll look at ECT. Now, it's your decision, but you can go through here and select all of these if you wanted to, if your computer was fast enough. At this point, I want to see what's enabled, so I'll uncheck supported, check enabled, now hit apply. As you can see, the PIDs that I have now selected are up here. Also, at this point, I can go through and check any trouble codes that this truck might have um, from any modifications that might have been done. I'll just click this request codes button, see if anything comes back. Obviously, there's nothing to return, so we're good to go. If it did have something to return, we could clear the codes by checking this button. From here, we'll close, we'll select OK, and it's going to reinitialize to the OBD2 module, and we'll be ready to go. Once the DLM is connected, you can now go into your edit mode screen on the WinPEP 7 software, and you can select a few of the gauges. We're going to change this digital gauge into intake air temperature. Right click on it, go to its properties, data channel. And as you can see, anything down here at the bottom that's got an asterisk next to it is an OBD2 PID. We're going to select Intake Air Temperature and select OK. This is all you have to do to gather all the data you need to make power.